In this video, we will learn callbacks in JavaScript. A callback is a function passed as an argument to another function. A callback function can run after another function has finished. Let's understand the callbacks with one example. I am creating one function and the function name is display. And this display function will display the message in the console tab. So here we will add console.log and let's add result and this result is parameter. So here we have declared one display function that will only display the result in the console tab. We are not performing any calculation in this function. Now we will create another function. Let's add the function keyword and the function name is add. This add function will have three parameters. Let's add num1, then num2, and the third one will be one function. Let's add my callback. In this add function, we will add let sum is equal to num1 plus num2 so this sum variable will store the value of num1 plus num2 next we will add this callback and in this callback we will add sum now we will call this add function so just add the function name which is add and parenthesis and this function has three parameters so we will pass three argument so first one will be one number that we want to add again we will add another number 10 20 and in the next parameter we will pass one function so we have already created this display function so we will pass this display function in this add function when you pass a function as an argument remember do not use the parenthesis we will simply add the function name there is no parenthesis required so let's understand this code here we have declared one function that will just display one message in the console then we have another function that have three parameters it will add the two number and store the value in some variable now to print this sum in console we need to call this display function so when calling this add function we are passing the two numbers 10 and 20 that will be added and we are passing this display function as argument and this function will be here in my callback this display function also accept one argument so here i am adding my callback and the value which is sum so this my callback will call this display function so let's see the output in the console tab you can see it is printing 30 we are calling add function and in this add function we have not added console.log the console.log is added in the another function called display and we are passing this display function as argument in the add function let's change the value if i write 20 plus 30 and now again check the output you can see it is displaying 50 that is 20 plus 30 so when we are passing one function as an argument to another function that is known as callback function in javascript now let's learn about anonymous functions anonymous functions in javascript are functions that are not declared with a name here is the syntax for anonymous function just write the function keyword and parenthesis and add your code within the curly braces we can add parameters also in anonymous function so this is the syntax to create anonymous function we are not adding any function name we are just adding function keyword and parenthesis and curly braces now let's see one example of anonymous function here we will create one function with the function keyword this function will have two parameters x and y now this function will return the value of x plus y 
Here I am creating one function without any name so it will not be stored on our memory. So to access this function we can store this function in any variable. So let's add let keyword to create one variable and the variable name is sum. Sum is equal to function. Here we have declared one function and assigned this function in a variable called sum. This is known as function expression. To call this function, we can use the sum variable. Here we will add sum and this function accept two arguments. So we will add the two value in this parenthesis 10 and 15. Now to print this value in the console tab, we will add console.log and write this sum and two parameters. Now you can see the output in the console tab, it is printing 25. Let's change the value, here we will add 10 and 30. Now again you can see the output 40. So let's understand this example again, here I am creating one function without any name and assigning this function in variable called sum. To access this function or call this function, we can use this sum variable and this function accept two argument so with this sum we are passing two argument 10 and 30 this 10 will be stored in x and 30 will be stored in y so it will return the x plus y value that will be 40 that will be printed in our console tab now let's see another example of anonymous functions here we will create one function with the function keyword and write the parenthesis and within the curly braces we will add console.log and one message welcome to greatest egg. Here we have declared one function without any name but how to execute the code written in this function. As you know to call any function we write the function name and parenthesis so this will call or execute the function. We will add the same thing with this anonymous function also. We will wrap this anonymous function in a parenthesis like this. We have wrapped it in this bracket and now we will add this parenthesis that will execute this function. Now you can see in the console tab it is printing welcome to great stack. The function is executed immediately when the script runs and it logs the message welcome to great stack to the console. Now let's see another example of anonymous function. Here we will add set timeout function and time. Set timeout is built in method in JavaScript that accept one function and time in milliseconds. So here let's add 2000 milliseconds and here we will create one function so here we can add one anonymous function let's add function keyword then parenthesis and curly braces and in this curly braces we can add the code that will be executed within this function so let's add console.log Hello greatest egg. Here I am adding an anonymous function that display the message hello greatest egg in console and here I am adding 2000 milliseconds. So it will execute this function after 2000 milliseconds that is 2 seconds. Let's see the output. In the console tab you can see it is blank but after 2 seconds it display the message hello great stack now increase the time if i add 5000 milliseconds that will be 5 seconds and run the code again you can see the console is blank and after 5 seconds it will print hello great stack you can see it is printing hello great stack in the console we can write like this so it will be clear
now you can see we have declared one function without any name so this is another example of anonymous functions now we will learn about recursive functions in javascript a recursive function in javascript is a function that calls itself let's create one function and the function name is my function and within this function we can write the code and after that we will call the same function here we will add my function and parenthesis so in this one you can see we have declared one function with the name my function and within this function we are calling the same function my function parenthesis now to evoke this function we will add it here outside of this function here my function is recursive function because it is calling itself inside the function a recursive function must have a condition to stop calling itself otherwise the function will be calling itself infinitely to prevent infinite recursion we can use if else statement or any conditional statement so here if i add if if condition and within this condition we will call this recursive function and else stop calling recursion so this is just one example how we can create one recursive function and call the recursive function and how to prevent the recursive function for infinite recursion we can add the if else condition or any other conditional statements of javascript now let's see one example i want to print numbers in descending order so here we will create one function and let's add the function name countdown so this countdown function will accept one number so here we will add num to call this function we will add the function name countdown and we will pass any number let's add 10 so this will call this countdown function and pass the number 10 in this num now to print this number we will add console.log num so this will be printed in the console tab now i want to print 10 9 8 7 like this so we have to decrease the number so after printing the number in console we will decrease its value by 1 so simply we can add num minus minus so it will decrease the value by 1 if the number is 10 it will become 9 so after decreasing the number again we have to print it so to print the number again we can call this function again let's add countdown num so this countdown num will again start from here and it will again print this but this countdown will be running infinitely so to prevent the infinite recursion here we will add if num is greater or equal to 0 so when the number is greater or equal to 0 then only it will call the function again now you can see the output it is printing 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 it is printing the number from 10 to 0 let's understand this code again here we have declared one function and in this function it is printing the number and it will decrease the number by 1 and after that it will check if the number is greater or equal to 0 then it will call this function again so this countdown function is calling itself this is known as recursive function so this is all about recursive function callback function and anonymous functions in javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel great stack to watch more videos like this one Thank you so much for watching this video.